Hi guys, thank you so much for all your hard work today. I just wanted to make you a quick tutorial video to show you around Google Classrooms and to answer some common questions um, like how to turn in your work and how to view your past assignments. So when you first log on to Google Classroom, you will be in the Stream tab. If you're on a laptop, this taskbar is on the top. If you're on a phone or a tablet, um, this taskbar is on the bottom. The stream is very important because every morning I'm going to post you guys uh, an agenda for the day and a daily reflection question. So the daily reflection question is the first thing you'll do each morning and you'll answer this question by commenting below. So this one said, what were three highlights of your weekend and explain what made them highlights. You'll click add class comment, you'll type in your response and you can click post. Remember that the same rules online apply that we're in our classroom. So be respectful and be kind. After the reflection, you should have done your math review POD, genius hour, math lesson 3031, reading lesson one, science lesson one, and music with Mr. Kohler. So every morning I will type out your agenda, but I'll also attach it. So you can also view it here. They say the same thing, it doesn't matter uh, which one you look at. This one just has some extra success criteria for you, okay? So to start your work after you've done your reflection, you're gonna come to the classwork tab. Now, everything is sorted by topic on the side. So enrichment is on the top. These are all optional, but very fun activities. Uh, please feel free to do this whenever you're bored, on the weekends, when you're done with your classwork, whatever you'd like. They are optional, but they're very fun. Everything else is mandatory. We have social studies, science, math, writing, reading, and then the preps will be at the bottom. So our first job today after the reflection was math review. So I'm gonna scroll down to the math tab and I'm gonna click week one math review and problem of the day. I will click view assignment so I can see everything and I'm gonna read all the directions. It says the problems are attached below. Here they are. So these are Monday's problems. I apologize for the confusion. These are different than what's in your packet. If there's ever a difference between what's in your packet and what's on Google Classrooms, please just do what's on Google Classrooms. So hopefully these are the six problems that you did today. And this was the problem of the day today about Catherine walking her dog. Now, I don't need to see your math review for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. It says, please complete them in your notebook. However, on Friday, I will see your work because you're gonna take this math review quiz online. This will let me see your work, grade your work, and return it back to you with feedback. If you do have any questions about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday's math review, please comment below right here. Uh, these are the public comments to the whole class and other classmates can answer your questions. Or if you'd like to ask me a question, private comments are on the side okay after the math review the next thing was genius hour so we're going to scroll down to reading you have two options for genius hour you can read your own book from home for an hour or you can read a virtual book for an hour so these are some ways that you can get virtual books you can get the simply e app with the new york public library and check out an ebook you can read on Mayan online, or you can go to Audible and a narrator will read a book to you. Just please make sure you're reading for an hour or more each day. Your next job was to do math lesson 3031. So we're gonna click view assignment. And we're gonna follow all the directions. Number one, I'm gonna watch this video. Miss Bruni's gonna teach us how to add mixed numbers. Now for some of you, the video doesn't open right away. So you'll just have to click open at the top and it will take you to a separate tab on YouTube. Second, you're gonna do the problem set on Zern. So some of you are turning in the assignment but haven't set up your account on Zern yet. Zern is where you do the problem set. So you'll click here and log in. I made your login so that it's exactly the same as iReady so it's less confusing. 
Uh, if you forgot though, no worries, everything's right here, username, password, and the very first time you log into Zern, you'll need this class code. I'll be able to see how many times you log into Zern and how you're doing on the problem sets, so just please make sure you're doing that for every math lesson. And then, very important, it says click the exit ticket, solve the two problems, and then you'll get a grade out of two points. So I'll click this exit ticket. Okay, and there are two questions I need to answer. I'll have to type the answers in here and click submit. Very important. A lot of people are typing in answers and then clicking X without submitting. I can't view or grade your work until you click submit. Okay, when you are finished with everything, you can click mark as done, not until you've completed all of the steps. The next thing you were supposed to do was reading lesson one. So we're going to find that reading lesson one. We're going to click view assignment. Okay, first, you are going to watch Ms. Hans's video right here. Second, you have a couple texts to read. Now the texts are also in the packet. So we'll click the packet and you're going to read this text and find the point of view, this text and find the point of view, and this text and find the point of view. Then your final job is to answer these five multiple choice questions. Now you have to also Put your answers for the multiple choice in this Google form. This is how I can grade you. Now this student already turned this in. Great job. So it just says you've already responded and you can view your score. Same thing as the exit ticket. Please make sure you click submit at the bottom. I can't grade you unless you click submit. Okay, then your next job uh, was to do science lesson one. So we'll click classwork. We'll go to science week one lesson one. View material. All right, first you're going to watch the video. I am teaching all of the science lessons, so you'll watch my quick video. Then you'll read this book, week one, book clues from the past. So if you'd like, you can download the document or you can just turn your device and read it from right here. While you're reading, you're going to be making a t-chart in your notebook and recording your observations on one side and your inferences on the other. So there's nothing you need to turn in for this assignment. This is all in your notebook. Last step is to play around with the Earth Features Sim. The login is below, so you'll click here. You'll click the Earth Features Sim. You'll click log in with Amplify, log in with Amplify, and put in the username and password. And then feel free to play around here. Okay. And your final job for the day was to do music with Mr. Kohler. So you'll come all the way down, you'll follow all his instructions here, and turn in when you are finished. Now, a couple common questions I've been getting were how to create a Google Doc. So I want to show you. We can come to, let's see, we can come to Social Studies, Week 1, Lesson 1. And on the right, there will be a button that says Add or Create. So we'll click that. And the two main options will be Docs or Slides. So if you want to create a Google Doc, that's just a plain Word document and you can type into that. The slides will be a little fancier. That's more like PowerPoint where you can create an assign or um, a presentation. So let me show you the Google Doc. We'll click. You can type your assignment in here. And when you are finished, there's a button that says turn in. Some people are turning in before they've written anything and you're turning in blank documents. So just make sure you have finished typing in the document before you click turn in. Okay, and then you can do the same thing with Google Slides. If you'd like to make a presentation, that will let you add pictures, um, create more fun formats, uh, etc. Either one is fine, and just make sure you click turn in when you are finished. Now, well, I'll just show you the Google Slides real quick so you can see what that looks like. It's more of a presentation, so you can still type in here. 
Um, but then there are themes. You can change the colors. You can add pictures, etc. And uh, there's no turn in button here. So you'll have to go back to the other tab and click turn in here when you are finished. Now, if you've turned something in and you realized you made a mistake, you can unsubmit something to revise. So let's come back. Uh, this student already turned in his reading work. Nice job. But if he decides he wants to change something, you can click unsubmit, make whatever changes you need, and then turn it in again. Now, once you have created all of these documents, a lot of people are wondering, how do you see that? So if you come to the classwork tab, all the way at the top, it says class drive folder. So if you click on that, that will show you everything that you personally have created. So these are all the documents that this student has made. You can click into them and then continue working right where you left off, okay? So everything automatically saves for you uh, and it comes into this class drive folder. Um, let's see, I think that is everything. Um, showed you how to make a document, showed you how to do Zern, how to turn something in, how to view your assignments. Okay, that's all I can think of. Uh, just please remember every morning check the stream and there will be the schedule for the day and the daily reflection question. That's all I can think of right now, but if you do have any other questions, um, please comment or reach out to me on Remind, email, text, whatever you need to, um, and I'll try to answer your questions. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great rest of the day. See you later.